Hello and welcome back to Joyless Gaming and Injustice 2 Ability Analysis. Uh, this time we're looking at Bane. So first to look at is Air Top Rope. It's an air grab. It's pretty straightforward. And you can meter burn it to get a pop-up that can get a follow-up. Something like that. Next is a move called Juggernaut Rush. Down back three. Doesn't replace anything. I thought it originally did, but it doesn't. Now, it's a weird thing. It'll go like that. <laughs> Although, despite what it looks like, its recovery is actually really quick. Once he starts that sort of semi-stumbling animation, you can cancel out of that into a dash or a jump or whatever. It's a very strange thing. You can't meter burn it, but, as you may have noticed, it's actually a throw. And it's a command grab that hits mid, just like the Bane Bomb does. Even if your opponent is ducking, they'll get hit by it. Okay, next up is Drop Kick, which changes the meter burn of the Venom Uppercut down back two into an overhead Drop Kick. Is it still an invincible wake up? Yeah, it becomes an overhead hit that you can throw out that people might not be expecting. It's minus eight. And you still get the invincibility on wake up from that. Which is important because the next move, double punch. Which replaces the, well, the elbow drop. Back forward two. Now becomes this. It's still an overhead. And... It's still an invincible wake up. So yeah, minus seven overhead invincible wake up. Now you can't meter burn it on block. It just is that. And on hit, it becomes something that you just get extra advantage out of. Now, the thing to be mentioned, of course, is that both of these are actually from Injustice 1. And so is the next move. Body press. This is his command grab from Injustice 1. It replaces the Bane Bomb. You get the Backbreaker in there. Nice and juicy. It has pretty much the exact same properties though, otherwise. It does do, by itself, it does actually do more damage than the Bane Bomb Meter Burn. Because the Meter Burn Bane Bomb will actually do that same 184, and then there's this little extra damage packet there. But the Meterless does slightly less than the meterless Bane Bomb, so, you know, it's kind of should be meter burning it. <laughs> now, finally, is a move called Supercharged, which changes his Venom. You lose your armor on special moves. No, we'll have to try and uh, kind of compare one to one, but if you go max on that, boom, 242. 209. So the easy comparison point is a meter burn special move and the meter burn damage packet will be like 50% better than it currently is or thereabouts. So it is an extra damage boost, but you lose the armor. Now it also says the withdrawal symptoms are reduced, which I have discovered to not actually be true. When you have the supercharged debuff, you do even less damage and take even more damage. So it doesn't actually work as advertised in that regard. But otherwise, yeah, that's actually it for Bane. He's only got the six, and a couple of them are returning from... Well, a few of them are returning from the first games. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and like and subscribe, and all that sort of stuff. I don't know. I'm Again, I'm bad at this sort of thing. I'll be getting through that list of suggestions I've been receiving, but then on to some more after that. So, um... Bye for now.